Hey everybody, so we've asked and you guys have wanted to see some kind of curl tutorials. Um, now there are so many out there right now which are all really great and I'm picking up different techniques with all those things. Um, now my goal today is just to kind of show you guys kind of what I do on a regular basis with my hair. Um, now I prefer to do something that is um, more of the beachy kind of like messier kind of look. I don't like my hair to be like a perfect kind of curl. Um, sometimes it starts out that way, I guess, um, when I first curl it, but then as the day goes on, I kind of like it to be a little bit more messy, more worn in. Um, so today, actually, this is my day two hair, pretty much how I've been wearing it every single day since we've been in quarantine or isolation, whatever you guys want to call it. So, um, I'm showing you pretty much what I would do normally, and um, yeah, so here we go. So yeah, I just have it in a ponytail. So because this is, I washed my hair yesterday, this is day two, um, I typically like, I prefer my hair to be day two with curls just because I feel like I get more body and more definition. So I do like to, I'll brush my hair out a little bit first just to kind of get all the knots out. And I don't have a specific part in my hair, but I kind of like, honestly, whatever, which way my hair wants to part that day. So it's kind of just a guessing game every day. So we'll see where this ends up now. Um, so just kind of brush it out and then kind of just like shake it and just kind of see where it likes to fall. So it's going down to the middle. So. We'll go with that. And I do like to see kind of like how I get the most volume also. So because I've had my hair up so much, like it's kind of voluminous anyway, honestly, which normally it doesn't look like this. So um, I feel like I'm going to start off with like a little bit of dry shampoo in my hair. So I use, this is the Skyline. So I always give it a little bit of a shake first just because it is kind of, if you don't shake it, I feel like it comes out really quickly, but it works really well. It has like a bit of shine to it. So um, it doesn't look super mad, I guess, and doesn't make my hair super cakey. So I like to start kind of back here. So I feel like, um, yeah, we're just where it starts to kind of separate. So just gonna kind of lift it up and spray it, not like directly at my root, but just kind of like around this area here just so it's not like on my scalp right away, but it looks like it comes out a lot, but it's not so bad. And then I just kind of brush it in a little bit and then I'm gonna do the same for this section here. So I kind of like, I use my two fingers and I kind of pick it up like that and I'll spray a little bit here and here. And it looks kind of white right now, but that goes away super quick. So I just kind of like, Rub that in. And then afterwards, I'll probably do um, like a little bit in here and in here also, just so I can get one more day out of it. Um, so I usually can get three days out of my hair, depending how I wear it. So um, yeah, this is how I'm gonna start. So um, I always start with that bit of dry shampoo and then always before you actually use the curling iron, I use a heat protector. So um, this Labiosa Tea heat protector, I you have to give it like a really good shake because it does separate. So give it a shake. And then some people like to separate their hair just to like get everything. Um, I'm just gonna kind of like, I pick up, I basically like pick up my hair and I just spray it a bunch of times. And I kind of run my fingers through it just to see if it feels like if it's wet, I don't want it to feel wet. I just want it to be like covered. And so and I pick it up like this in the front so that I'm not just spraying directly at my roots. Okay, that feels pretty good. Now to curl. Okay, so I don't normally section my hair out when I curl it either. But for this purpose, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to start off with my bottom layer. So I kind of grab at my temples here and I have it like separated in the back um, so that I have just like one section, two sections. So I'm not like, where's all my hair? 
So um, I'm going to grab from my temples. I'm just going to go back just to separate it. And I can usually just do it in two sections. I have quite a bit of hair, but um, I have fine hair. So um, yeah, I have a lot of it, but I don't like to do my sections in the curling iron super small either. So I'll probably like for this section here, um, I'll probably get like two or three out of each um, each curl kind of thing. Um, now my hair is super long right now. <laughs> I really need a haircut and I've contemplated a couple times <laughs> doing it myself here, but, um, I don't actually have my scissors at home. So if I were to do it, it would be with kitchen scissors and I'd rather wait till one of the girls at the salon can do it myself, honestly. So yeah, we're going to get <laughs> to the curls. Okay. So I have, um, this is like my go-to curling iron. Um, it's a one and a quarter. Now I don't like it to be like a super big curling iron. Um, yeah, I have a lot of it, but I don't like to do my sections in the curling iron super small either. So I'll probably like for this section here, um, I'll probably get like two or three out of each, um, each curl kind of thing. Um, now my hair is super long right now. <laughs> I, really need a haircut and I've contemplated a couple times <laughs> doing it myself here but um I don't actually have my scissors at home so if I were to do it it would be with kitchen scissors and I'd rather wait till one of the girls at the salon can do it myself honestly so yeah we're gonna get <laughs> to the curls okay so I have um this is like my go-to curling iron um it's a one and a quarter now I don't like it to be like a super big curling iron just because I feel like it's not going to give it like it does give it like a really beachy curl but this one is more versatile so I can use it on shorter hair clients as well um I do like to use the one inch also but it just totally depends how you're holding it on the actual wand part so when I'm holding the my hair in the actual wand I'm always holding it basically up this way and so that my hair is kind of falling down because if you kind of wrap it around it, it gives it more of like a, like bouncy, yes, but more of like an updo type of curl that it's more of like a classic curl, I guess. Um, whereas I would prefer, I want to have like more of a beachy type, like lived in look. So my hair does like, I have, if you could call this a wave at all, I'm not even sure, but I have a bit of texture <laughs> in my hair to begin with. Um, but nothing that I would actually wear out. So I kind of just want to work with that. So this piece here, so I, like I said before, I'm going to grab it into like three different sections. So I'm going to grab this first section here. So this is about like pulled out here. And I always curl away from my face. And then when I get to the back sections, I kind of go back and forth. So I always grab from this, like from here to about the midsection here, I guess. You don't want to grab it from the bottom because that just is not the type of curl I'm going for. So I open up my barrel and I just kind of grab it and I'm pulling it down. But as I'm pulling it, I have the clasp open. And so I kind of just wrap it a little bit like that. And then I feel till it's hot. And then I open up the barrel a little bit and I just pull it down. But I'm not letting go completely. And then I just kind of wrap it again. And then as it's like, you want it to kind of look like this. Now it kind of looks more of like a, a really done up kind of curl, but as you brush it down, it's warm right now. So I want to like wait till it's cooled off and then I'll put my fingers through it and comb it out and it'll be like a really soft curl. So I'm going to do this next one um, a bit quicker. Just as I'm talking, it's, <laughs> I want to do it really quickly. So um, just cause I have, I have mine on like full heat. And so from doing that, I'm not keeping it on my hair for a super long time. I just want to do it like curl and then flip it out and then curl again. So I'll show you basically how quickly I do it. So I do this, do, do, maybe like three seconds, I guess, and then wrap it again. And I'm always leaving out the bottom section here and I just kind of let it go. Now back here, I'm going to grab it this way. Oh, 
All right, so this side is done. So I did it in three different curls. So until I've done my whole head, I'm not gonna brush any of this out because I want it to set just as it is, kind of in its like ringlet kind of barrel curl, I guess. So I'm gonna do this back section here. So I'm, I always start in the back um, for this part. I'm gonna grab onto it. And again, I'm going away from my face um, on this side also. And I find like with, I mean, I'm sure everyone is like this also, but each side, I feel like I do kind of get a bit of a different type of curl just because I am switching the way that I'm curling it, um, just by the way that my body turns. So um, they do typically like end up looking the same, but the curl itself, I guess it looks kind of the same actually. Okay. So again, I'm not keeping it on the hair for a super long time, but I'm just kind of um, waiting till this part's hot and then that's it. Okay, so did this one also in three sections and then I wanna give it a bit of a spray. So I have like my Car Co Structural Hold and Setting Spray. So this one you can spray in before as well as after. So I kind of use it as a bit of a hairspray. So I give this one, you have to shake this one really well also. So give this one a really good shake and then spray it. Got that in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> Yummy. Okay. Now it still feels a little bit warm. So you don't want to, you don't want to be brushing it out right away because you're going to lose what you curled very quickly. So before I kind of take this out, I kind of, I put those in the back and then I'll still section this down kind of the middle, but I don't want to do it like exactly because I don't want to leave my, like a line in my hair. I don't want to leave my, like a line in my hair after I've curled it. So I always start in the back um, for this part here, um, just because I find that is way easier just to kind of keep it all separated. So this is kind of what it looks like right now. I don't know actually what it looks like. Probably looks pretty ratty, but it's gonna look better. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna grab it kind of in three sections again. Actually, no, probably a little bit more. Um, but my section like is about, I don't know, it's pretty big, I guess. Um, but because I have such a big curling iron, I guess, so now I'm gonna do the same. So I'm gonna grab it back here and I'm grabbing it on top kind of dragging it down, but with the clasp open. Okay, let it go. When you pull it down, it kind of just falls out itself. So that's the easiest way to kind of, I guess, look at it is just like see where it's falling and then just keep curling from that point on. And then leave that bottom part out. I'm gonna go to the top here. Okay. Now the more, the more um, twists, I guess, that I do, the more of a curl you're obviously gonna get. So if you want it to be like, a really really beachy curl then you're kind of you could either grab bigger sections um and with a bigger section you probably want to keep it on the hair like the curling iron itself on the hair for a couple extra seconds just because it'll take longer for the heat to get through but you're not wanting to keep the barrel on your hair for a very long time because especially if you're not using like a heat protector always always use a heat protector <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, especially for those blonde clients because we, I mean, in the front here, I have a lot more lightener and a lot more um, just blonde pieces. And so those pieces are gonna be a little bit more fragile. So having a heat protector allows me to keep growing my hair and having those pieces nice and strong. Now they're short because I have a fringe, but I mean, a super grown up <laughs> fringe, but. Um, yeah, so on the front here, I'm kind of just doing 
like two little turns. So it kind of looks like that's unfinished, but I, I want that kind of look. So, so we're getting some, getting some roots now. Be time to get my hair done. <laughs> okay. Now in the back here, just want to make sure that I've kind of got all these pieces. So I kind of like tilt my head down and then that piece I'm going to grab also. And start from the back again. Now sometimes when I curl my hair, I use either this curling iron or I can use a flat iron also. Now they both kind of give like very different types of curls, but um, overall you're getting kind of like a, a beachier kind of look to it. Um, so I may do one of those next actually. Just kind of show what kind of curls you can do with a flat iron. Um, just so you guys can see kind of how I do it. Right. Okay, now the key is, is to leave out that bottom part of the hair. Um, that kind of just gives it more of like a an unfinished, like, yeah, I tried, but I didn't try that hard kind of look. So, <laughs> which I guess I prefer. Okay, bring it down. I'll show you again. I'll do it slow, like the front section. What I do just to kind of tie those um, front shorter pieces in. So, okay, so I'm grabbing kind of the same part that I would normally grab. And I, this one I might do, I'll do two twists still. But I don't hold the sec second section, like that part there, I don't hold that in for a very long time. So, Okay, so now that it's all curled, I'm going to still bring it all forward, and I want that all to cool down still. So I'm giving this a good shake, this arnco, it's called, this one's called grid, by the way. So I'll give this one a good screw. Okay, spray that. Since I'm still waiting, I'm going to spray a bit of this in there. I don't have an actual mirror with me. I'm using my phone as the mirror, so hopefully I don't spray it all over my face. Okay, spray that. Since I'm still waiting, I'm going to spray a bit of this in there. have an actual mirror with me. I'm using my phone as the mirror, so hopefully I don't spray it all over my face. So this one, it does come out quite white, but I just kind of rub it in and it's gone. So super easy. Okay, so now that I have all that product in there, now the easiest part is I just use my fingers and I kind of use them as like a claw and I'll just kind of like comb it out. Comb it out. And there you have it. Got some very loose curls. Now even this section here I feel like is a little bit too curly, but as the day goes on, it'll loosen up a little bit. And then I'll give my hair another little bit of a spray. So I kind of like, I'll just rough it up a little bit, even just kind of like use your pinchers and just kind of like massage that a little bit. And then grab a hairspray or something like this. And I'll kind of like grab my hair up like that, spray it to kind of give that more of a PC kind of look. All right, and there you go. Not super hard. 
um but it will take like a bit of practice just to kind of get the the rhythm of like grabbing onto the hair and then pulling it down so um once you have that it's super easy um it took me a little while to actually learn it myself but once you get it um this took me i mean i'm at like 19 minutes now but it takes me normally like a five minute kind of situation so it's not super not super hard but um, if you guys want to learn more, just let us know. And um, hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, I'm not sure if it was, but this is just how I do my hair every day. And um, yeah, I hope that it gave you something to kind of look at and um, try at home. Okay, thanks. Have a good day.